<laughs> okay. This should be all. <sighs> Mr. Kusakari? Yes? Going somewhere? An early summer vacation with my wife. Uh, it's been a while since we had one. I'm off to Okinawa! <laughs> That's wonderful. Where in Okinawa? Uh, my wife wants to visit Shuri Castle and other ancient sites. A world heritage tour. <laughs> That's great. But while in Okinawa, make sure you visit some private homes. Huh? Private homes? You mean where people live? The crystal clear sea. With coral fragments everywhere. White streets of crushed coral and black stone walls. A land abounding with color, Okinawa. Adding to the tropical atmosphere are the private dwellings with their red roof tiles. The Okinawan house has an exotic appeal. It's the product of the unique culture of Okinawa situated between China and Japan and its harsh natural environment. Despite being a small, wooden, single-story structure, it is strong enough to withstand large typhoons and the scorching sun. Learning about the houses that are replete with the ingenuity and the history of the Okinawan people, one begins to see the real Okinawa. Today, we'll be talking about the beauty of Okinawan houses. Takatomi Island still retains its pristine natural beauty. Many traditional houses still stand there, and visitors can marvel at the magnificent scenery of the islands. What makes the Okinawan house unique? The red tiled roofs. The color red creates a beautiful contrast with the clear blue sky of Okinawa. Meiichi Kinjo is an artist who, for over three decades, has vividly captured on paint these red-roofed houses. Kinjo takes delight in his paintings of houses in which people have lived for generations. Kinjo explains that the red roof embodies accumulated time. I enjoy the colors. When the houses were first built, the roofs all had the same color. But as time passes, the colors begin to change. They're weathered by rain and wind, and by time, and take on that distinctive character. Kinjo uses various colors to depict the red roof. A close look reveals that the color of the roof is actually very uneven. Some parts are red, some are even black. Okinawan tiles are unglazed, therefore rain seeps in, mold and moss grow on them to give off a unique aura. The roofs in Kinjo's paintings are colored like flowers. No two tiles have the exact same color. The rich variety of red tiles together creates a fantastic harmony of colors. To 
Today's first mark of beauty is savoring the infinite array of red. Why the red roofs? The answer to that can be found at Shuri Castle in Naha City. Okinawa was formerly the Ryukyu Kingdom, ruled by the king in Shuri Castle. The castle featured red tiles, which were very valuable in the 17th century. Back then, the color red symbolized nobility. Commoners at the time lived in thatched houses. As they were forbidden from using tiles, the red tiles became objects of admiration. When the ban on tiles was lifted in 1889, the people rushed to put up red tiles on their roofs. This red color comes from Okinawan soil. That soil, called kucha, is rich in iron and can be found across southern Okinawa. The name literally means mud. The tiles are made from only this black, muddy soil and water. After being molded into shape, the tiles are dried for 40 days before they are baked at 1,000 degrees Celsius. The result? The baking process oxidizes the iron, and the outcome is this unique red color. This unglazed tile is perfect for the weather in Okinawa. These tiles absorb a lot of water. So when there's a squall, it sucks in water. That water then evaporates when it gets hot. That's how the tiles regulate their temperature. As water evaporates from the tiles, the tiles release heat. It perfectly matches the subtropical climate of Okinawa. This roof features white outlines around the red tiles. The contrast of red and white makes for a splendid roof. The white is plaster coating, put on to keep the tiles from being blown away in extreme typhoons common to Okinawa. The plaster coating, too, is weathered by the wind and rain and gradually changes from white to gray. With the passing of time, both the red tiles and the white plaster coating take on a rich flavor. Not only that, there's an item that makes the red tiled roof even more appealing. The Shisa. It is a safeguard against evil found in Chinese geomancy. For something that scares away evil, it looks rather cute. The Shisa comes in a variety of faces and designs. The Shisa first emerged atop Okinawan homes when those hired to lay the roof tiles put them up as a gift to their customers. Each Shisa reflects the playfulness and uniqueness of the craftsman. The shisa is made from the same materials used to make the roof, plaster and tiles. The tiles used to make them are those that have either cracked or been damaged. Koyu Oshiro has been laying roof tiles in Okinawa for many years. The angle of the shisa's upper jaw is especially important to him. And that's because the eyes will go on top of the jaw. The 
eyes of the Shisa are placed at an angle so that it can stare down evil passing through the gate. The guest comes in through the gate and stands before the entrance. So the Shisha's eyes must face the entrance. That's why it needs to look intimidating. It's to fend off evil, so it cannot be smiling. The Shisa, with life breathed into it, protects the red roof. tiles, plaster coating, and the shisa. These are features indispensable to the Okinawan scenery. Yes, indeed. The red roofs look perfect for Okinawa. The roof of our house is laid with Japanese tiles. And there is no plaster coating. Mr. Kusakari. Yes? The black tiles on your roof are durable. But they repel water and absorb light, so they become hot. Huh. So they wouldn't be suited for Okinawa. Now let's take a look at the typical structure of the Okinawan house. The shape of the Okinawan house is a unique blend of Japanese, Chinese, and Ryukyuan influences. After passing the stone gate, one faces a wall. It is called Hinpun. With its origin in Chinese geomancy, the wall is meant to keep out evil. Guests enter from the right side. The left side is used by the residents of the house. The most noteworthy feature is that there is no main entrance. One can enter the house through any of the wide openings. The entire south side of the house has no wall, allowing the breeze to come in freely and the residents to enjoy an unrestricted view of the garden and the surrounding scenery. special space that the Okinawan house offers. Built 280 years ago is the Nakamura residence, miraculously having survived the ravages of the Battle of Okinawa, it retains the vestiges of the Ryukyu Kingdom. We enter from the right side of the Hinpun. The Nakamuras were a wealthy farming family. They had the luxury of a guest house on the right side with the main house on the left. The front of the house has no walls, only pillars, and the whole interior can be seen. Above the house's openings are long eaves to keep out the rain. The space under the eaves is called Amahaji, 